Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on Fox Farm, my test farm, uh, where I test tractors and equipment like that. And this is the Lizard T30 by Kaztan18 and Hatchback Modding, 27.99 megabytes to download. It is 19 slots on console, and we'll find it under Small Tractors. And there it is, the Lizard T30, only $19,500, uh, 32 to 35 horsepower, manual or automatic transmission, as you will see. Uh, 53 liters of fuel, 16 miles per hour, top speed, 2.4 tons, and 19 slots. <clears throat> Here is the base model, and I have one example out on the field already at 32 horsepower, manual transmission, 16 miles per hour, and you know the rest. It is a four-wheel drive, as uh, they all are, I do believe. So engine choices. The T30. The T30 Automat, which is an automatic transmission version of the same tractor. And then we have the 35 horsepower T30T. Uh, nothing uh, visually changes that I can see on the tractor itself, manual or automatic, in the 35 horsepower, and then back to the T30. So, $900 extra for those extra three horsepower. Woo! Um, <clears throat> wheel brands, Lizard, Lizard 2. Yes, Lizard or Lizard 2, basically, are those are the two, and it just changes the rear tire. So with Lizard, we have standard and wide track. In Lizard 2, standard or wide track. And that is it for tire options. Front weight, we have a front attacher, which is a pin hitch. Or we can have 40, 80, 120, uh, or 120 kilograms of front weight, or nothing at all. 900 bucks for the weights. Wheel weights, yes, we have wheel weights. 90, 132, or 148. Uh, let's go with the 132, because it shows color, and that's going to be uh, significant in a moment. <clears throat> Front fenders, no metal or plastic. If we go with metal, it will have color as well. Back window. So right now we have standard, which is just... Mm, uh, I, it could be a window. Uh, we have metal, which is nothing, or no, which is completely open. So yes, there is a window there, or you could have it completely open or completely closed for 200 or $100. Let's go with metal. Work lights, no, or yes, those at the rear. Rear extra work lights, as you can see there. Mud flaps, we have none, short, long or mega which kind of gives an extra um fender kind of protection all around covers no or yes that is the uh, battery cover as you can see there both sides uh we'll leave that open i just like seeing the batteries <clears throat> attachers type two type three type four type one Type 2. So 1 and 2 obviously have, at least type 1 has a hitch. 2, 3 has a hitch. 4, yeah, so they may or may not all have hitches. Um, oh, that one does. It has an upper and lower. Right. Um, oh, $300 for the type 4. Cabin. No, or mirrors type 1, mirrors type 2. So you can choose the type of mirrors. We'll go with that. Um, $2,100 for the cab. <clears throat> Hood and front lights, standard, as you can see here. No dummy grill. So basically, well, no grill. Uh, lights type two. No grill and lights type two. No hood whatsoever, just bare bones, going naked. And no hood and no lights. And then back to standard. So let's just leave it standard because... So you have, basically you have the 
upper or lower lights we'll leave it here uh engine color now we have red or gray and black uh, let's go gray so you can see everything that changes color let's change it back there and then there so it even changes the steering column all right all right okay <clears throat> fenders and hood color uh as long as you like red um yeah red uh grill dummy color we got uh the cream white cream we can make it red uh we can make it black we can make it gray and that's it any charge uh no no charge for the chill color change on the grill and then wheel and weight colors uh, let's make it red. There we go. That's the weight. We've made it red now. Wheel weights color two. Now this is, I'll make it black. Those are the bolts on the wheel weights. And then of course, rim color, uh, we can make it, uh, we can make it black, red or cream color or, well, it's more of a gray, I guess. <clears throat> no charge there. And then a license plate. There it is there on the back. And on the front, it is uh, only on the back. Back only. Yes, back only, back only. All right. <clears throat> let's, um, let's hop into this one first. That's the, well, in-cab view. Let's start it up. It actually takes um, a minute or two. There we go, now we can move. So a little accelerator pedal down there, that's kind of neat. Gears are shifting as we, this is the manual version. If we go out, out of the uh, cab, we see the lights. This is just the bare basic one without any um, options. Reverse is also 16 miles per hour in reverse. Very fast in reverse which is nice because uh, there's a few uh small tractors that go about three miles an hour in reverse and uh it makes for a bit of a chore to reverse um brakes are more of a suggestion than um something that uh, really happens right away um this is pulling a th so i didn't have any implements that are around 30 horsepower this is a 30 horsepower harrow <clears throat> this is not 30 this or is it 30 yeah 30 horsepower harrow um this pulls it very easily no problems whatsoever so let's hop into here because this has all the extras or a lot of extras with the rear lights we have signals uh let's let's turn the lights off there we go signals left and right no beacons this is the uh, one without the hood obviously in cab it's pretty much the same as the other one except well there's a cab around you um and let's go back out here we do have some options for doors as you can see l1 and right stick left and right opens that left door that's as far as open as it goes. And uh, up and down opens and closes that window. That window opens all the way. It is not a door, it's just a, a right side window. And that is all the extra stuff. Uh, top speed, not too bad. As he said, it uh, gets up to the 16 miles per hour. Now this is the automatic transmission. And uh, it works just as well as the man or i mean the manual works just as well as the automatic which is um somewhat surprising typically the manual transmission struggles a little bit um with many things now this as i says is the automatic transmission and very smooth where there we go right up to the nine miles per hour as it should and if we jump back into here, one, two, uh, the um, gear, the second gear is all it needs in high uh, ratio, in high gear ratio, and it seems to be very happy. 
so um, a nice little tractor now little tractor like this is somewhat limited in the list amount of the, the list of things it can do on a farm it does not have a front loader um, it doesn't have a three-point link on the front although that can be something added uh, through other mods <clears throat> oh uh, we're gonna test out let's uh, let's go back to the store and we're gonna test out to see if uh, what hooks up to these uh, the back of this thing all right so here we are we have a couple of trailers pin hitch and a ball hitch as usual and this is as I said the base tractor I didn't do any, add any options it is was basically straight up out of the box so pin hitch pin hitch hooks up to the top as you can see like so and it seems like a very nice height for that so it wouldn't struggle and a ball hitch whoop ball hitch hooks uh, to the lower hitch as you can see there let's just jump out so that hooks up over there the pin hitch hooked up at the upper one so not a lot of very small uh, trailers with ball hitches um, but it hooks up to both so no uh, worries there I'm not sure about the other configurations but if the base one does um, the other ones likely will if not um, if not you can find one that will obviously as we see here and that's about it that's the lizard t30 by uh, kaztan18 and hatchback modding 27.99 megabytes to download and 19 slots on console a very nice little tractor i'm sure someone brian who will be excited to see this anyways uh, thank you all for watching i'm loony farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now